got the chills or something you said earlier? Right in this doorway. It was like right here. I don't feel it anymore at all. When we first walked in, this thing said puncture. And that's what I got with that woman was she was stabbed. That's probably why I felt not, sad. Not here though. I wonder if there wasn't like a guy that kind of... Now I feel like extreme anxiety. Yeah, my heart's up. Beating really fast? Yeah. This is the room for the ghost of the little girl. Emily. Right? She, she just came through here and said she was here. Do you, do you know anybody named Ida? That name sounds familiar. Because she's saying that she was slain upstairs. And there's she's afraid of one particular man. I'm trying to remember what his name is. Daniel? I think it's Daniel. Daniel? She's afraid she's of this man. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> About the ghost. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tell the difference. Look at it. 69, 60. It's jumping up.
I said it in the first direction that I saw him in. So, no, I don't, honestly. This portion of the video will deal with the ovulus device. You'll see words scrolled across the screen. This is the list of words that came up on the ovulus device during the investigation. I'd like to talk about these words by categories. In the first category, it's people's names. The ovulus device is obviously mentioning several people's names who attended the investigation. I actually saw one woman holding the ovulus in her hand have her name spoken and a few moments later it spoke the name of her mother as well. Some of the names that appear on this list are also PTF members who attended this investigation. This device has the capability of knowing who we are when they speak through it and they're identifying individuals by name just to let us know that they are successfully communicating with us. In the next category of words, many of the words relate to the water bar medical facilities and the history of the building. You'll see descriptive words such as iron, which are relevant to the types of water that were used when people were receiving treatments. All sorts of specific words such as the word bar or club this is all dealing with this facility. Also, there are medical related treatments because it was also a hospital. And you'll see also many medical words used in this list. This may be relevant to the people who are receiving different medical treatments at the time. Another class of words is related to people's emotional states. You'll notice that words relating to pain, violent crimes, other instances of how people felt, illnesses, different things that were relating to emotional states. These are also very prevalent on this list. I've also noticed another pattern with the ovulus device. It seems to never use the word Indian or Indians to describe Native Americans. It always seems to defer to the word chief and the word chief is often referred to on this list. 
This seems to be a pattern with this device, which is unusual because the word Indian is in the official list of words that it's capable of speaking. But the ovulus is also notorious for being able to speak words that are not on this list. So why it's going to the trouble of not using the word Indian and substituting the word chief is unknown at this time. The ovulus device has a fixed number of words that it's capable of speaking, but sometimes these entities are trying to say things that are not in this dictionary, and I've seen them bypass the dictionary and speak directly through the device what words they choose, or sometimes they seem to modify existing words in the database to come up with the words that they intend to speak. Technically, this is not possible because the unit is not designed to do this. These entities are somehow figuring out how to bypass the limitations of the dictionary to speak words that they want to convey their own messages with.